Hi, you guys. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Hi, guys. So it is way too hot to do anything to go out, but I wanted to do a video. So I'm going to do a quick video on my Coco and give you guys an update. I haven't done one since she turned one. So people, I did have like two messages <laughs> about how's Coco. So here's Coco. She is 11 pounds. <laughs> This is how she turned out, big old Coco. Her hair has grown out. She has two bows, but she she shook the other bow out, and I don't know where it is, and I don't have time to look for it. But yes, we are matching today, mommy and me outfits. Me and Coco. So if you hear my garage going, the door's closing. That's my husband coming in and out. But this is my Coco. She still wears a size medium. Look how cute this little dress has sequence on it let me try to get her closer to the camera a little sequence and this is my coco close-up coco look at everybody she still has her hazel green eyes yes and this is my sweet girl she's still my baby girl and my my whole heart this little girl um so i'm just gonna do a quick update she's a year she'll be two in october so she's almost two years old so um She's not quite a puppy, but she's still my baby. Um, and yes, we are fighting over snacks down here. Because as y'all know, that's the only way I can keep Coco is snacks for y'all to see her. So yes, she's eating her treats. Treats that I never let her have. So she really wants those. Um, there you go, Coco. So y'all, that's probably the last you're going to see of Coco because she is out of here but her little dress is so cute look at that it has a little bow on the side oh she's just oh and she's a big girl but um not really i take her everywhere with me um i finally found a groomer that we love it was a struggle it was not easy to find a groomer that we love but we found one okay coco you, your glitter is getting everywhere um this glitter does get everywhere but i so anyway i want to do a quick update on coco this is just a chit chat video a little change change of scenery it's nice and bright and open out here so i thought I, nobody's home um so i thought i'd do a little quick video out here and plus we were dressed alike I didn't have anything else to do, so I was like, let me make a little video on my on my Coco Bear. Because we're just taking pictures, so here we are. So I'm still enjoying her. Um, again, um, if you're going to get a puppy, you have to have time for puppies. They're not stuffed animals. They're not something that you feed twice a day and then you go on about your life. I mean, you can. People do it. People work eight hours a day, have animals, and they live perfectly happy lives. But you can't work eight hours a day and want to be all the time, all the time and want to be super social. Um, it is, it's a lot. I'm 42 years old and I'm stay-at-home wife and it is still a lot. Coco is still very much altered our day-to-day -day life and routine and it's something that I really welcomed and needed and I think it's been really good for us and but if you're not in that space and you still if you're a super social person unless you have a really small dog that can go everywhere with you I, I wouldn't suggest getting a dog unless you really have time for the dog because they're like humans that never grow up to be quite honest they're just like humans that never grow up but anyway I want to get into a haul of some summer things I wear put on her because it is summertime. I keep her hair a little cut, a little shorter. Again, I finally found a wonderful groomer. She's a black owned groomer. She converted her shed into a really nice space. And I just, she happened to have a booth at the mall and she was selling dog clothes. And then she told me that she was a groomer and a sitter. And it, I mean, and that's another thing. You're going to need to find a really trustworthy sitter. Um, there's daycares available for dogs. So if you do want to have a dog in your social, there are things you can do with your dog. Um, that allows you to still be social and your dog to be taken care of and not just home all day or in it or in a kennel. Again, I've never liked the whole kennel thing once they're not potty training. I just don't feel like that's. 
I, I don't like it. But some people do. They keep their dogs in crates and they love their pets and they're fine and their dogs are used to that. But my dog, uh, I just never liked it. I've never liked it for any dogs. Um, growing up, we had a lot of land and so our dog always roamed free outside, inside. So uh, we just, I mean, I mean, he slept in the garage, but we, I'm just never used to dogs being like in cages. So, but that's to each his own. That's just sometimes that's the best way to train dogs for their safety and everything else. So I understand that. And um, I will be the first to admit that my dog Coco, um, I wouldn't say that she's a trained dog. She pretty much does what she wants to do, which is not a good thing. But she fits my lifestyle. So, you know, if you're a person that, you know, have to have things just so, and blah, 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 then, you know, probably the being really strict with the cage and stuff is probably the best way. But anyway, talk going forward, talking about how um, some of the things I do with Coco in the summertime because it is hot. Number one, she doesn't have fur. She has hair. So um, I was bathing her every week, and the groomer was like, that's just too much for her skin. So I use these, which I didn't bring, but I use these bath wipes. You just add water to them. They're already kind of sudsy and you wipe your dog down. Then you can towel her down. And after I do that, I use this spray right here. Um, it smells really good. Um, you can get this at Ross, TJ Maxx, um, Walmart. Um, they have all kinds, but this is the kind that I like. It smells really good. It keeps her smelling fresh. So I do that on her because again, she's a house dog. She's on our bed, she's on our couches. She has to be clean. I can't just, she's talking about once a month. Mm -mm. And then she goes to the groomer every other month. So she doesn't go to the groomer every month, every other month and get a nice deep clean, deep conditioner. And then I use this spray also by Arm & Hammer for her teeth. This is a dental spray. And I just try to make sure, I just get in there with my hand, open her mouth up, and I try to make sure I get her gums and her tongue really well, and also freshens up her breath. Um, my husband was telling me that them by them eating kibble, like dry dog food, that is also cleans their teeth and it's good for them. I did not know that until he told me that. So if you feed your dog's kibble, that's really good for their teeth. She's still, and by the way, speaking of food, she's still eating her original kibble that she always ate, her bacon-flavored kibble. She is a creature of habit. I have tried to switch her dog food. It just messes up her diet. It makes her run off, throw up. So we're just sticking to, it's the same dog food she's had since she was a puppy. I've showed it on here before. And we mixed that with baby food, the ham baby food. A little half a teaspoon of that mix it in just so that the the dog food is not real, real real hard just mix it in a little bit and that is what she eats she's still only eating like a half a cup she don't eat very much but she does snack we give her little treats you know what I mean but she don't eat very much and we still have to like stand and make her eat sit there and say eat Coco eat but she she's getting better some days her appetite is better than others I don't push it um what about to say? So other than that, she's completely healthy. All her doctor's appointments. We haven't had any health scares with her thus far, thankfully. Um, she has a surgery coming up to get fixed um, that I keep pushing off because I just don't want to see her in pain. But recently, a lot of people in my family have gotten dogs, and they're all male dogs, and Coco is their target, okay? So to prevent any accidents... <laughs> We're gonna go ahead and get my poor baby fixed. My husband just does not want her to have to carry puppies. He's not interested. We've had lots of offers, but he don't want her to go through that. So before accident happens, we're gonna get her fixed. So summertime, again, like I was saying, it's summertime, we keep her cut low. Um, my husband be like, don't put all that stuff on her. She be too hot. But of course y'all know I love Coco Dress Up. And I'm gonna be honest with you. I really get little to no resistance when I carry Coco in any store. Very seldom does anyone say anything to me about having her in the store with me. And I think it's because she's dressed up. She looks so cute. She always has bows in her hair. She has dresses. So people are too busy saying how cute she is to say we don't allow pets. So that's a tip. If you want to take your dog in somewhere, have it looking really, really cute. And also she don't bark 
when we're in stores so she's not like aggressive but i do have to watch where i take her because people just walk up to your dog and that's not good because she's still an animal and her instinct might be to snap at someone she never has but i don't want it to happen and but but people just be like oh i have a dog and just reach out and touch her but anyway summertime at wardrobe so i got a lot of her stuff from ross this year just because when i went one day i think they must have just put out all their summer clothes and so i like racked up so i'll show you all the things that i got i got this little dress from ross no everything was about 4.99 or not or 5.99 and it has this little of course it's cut in the back and it's just so cute it has little pom-poms on it i don't know if you can see the little pom-poms and then in the front i have a lot of a lot of my dresses this summer have this like two-tier look ruffle look and so the fact that there is like the little three layers of pom-pom look at this and it's a tank top so it's really and it's really lightweight so it's really breezy and it doesn't like weigh her down too much because it has been scorching i don't know where you live but here in the south it has been hot but this is like an everyday little outfit that i would put on her everything she has is a medium i always buy her medium some mediums are way too big because she does have a smaller neck um but for the most part it fits her pretty good because she's so long so this is her medium and this fits perfect and this one says queen of the sofa which is so true because that's what we do but this too again is very very lightweight you can see the light you can see the light shining with through, through it it's very very lightweight um this dress is not lightweight so this would be more so for the evening but I got it too from Ross. It was just too cute to pass up. I actually probably won't put this on her until fall. But it's tie-dye and it's like a um, a turtleneck. But, you know, tie-dye and it has the ruffled sleeves and the little cutesy dress. I love it. Another cute lightweight t-shirt, which again, I probably... She actually has... This one's not new. But I just wanted to show you this. But this is more so for fall too because it has that high neck. All right. And then I got these little dresses from five and below. And I don't have the other one, but I have it in blue as well. And look how cute. It says flower child. And it has the little ruffles on there. And this, okay, five and below, so it was like $5. And I got her size medium. And this is like, it's like a cream. Sorry, the light is going in and out. Now the sun is switching up. Sorry, we already started this video, but um, the so it's a nice linen material as well, not too hot. Um, so I like that for the summertime. Um, I got her another one of these cute little dresses, like what she has on the day, with these cute little uh, tutus on them, and I like them because they stand out. So when she puts them on, it kind of like flares up like this, and I just think it's so adorable. And this one says, you can you can call me princess and i got this from ross and um it was 4.99 so i can show you that 4.99 from ross that's how that one looks look how cute that is and again this is a tank top i'm taking off this hanger this is a tank top dress so it's again lightweight so she's not too hot and even around her collar okay obviously i have more but I, this is the ones that was out that I haven't hung up yet so that's the ones i brought you and we've also tried to keep her on just these harnesses and this is by ellen these are 9.99 from ellen they're a little heavy duty they have a pretty good heavy duty uh velcro on on them although i wish they had claps i will say i don't really see the point of making these harnesses with velcro these are these needs to be clipped so that would be my only critique for ellen's harnesses other than that they're super cute she has this in um she has the matching collar and she has the matching um onesie um but this is really cute she has these in several colors she has a pink one a green one and then she has a leopard and green one as well uh it's like cream on the body and it's lined in green 
and uh, leopard. So it's a really cute, it's a whole little line that Ellen did with, with, with leopard and with mint green kind of. Um, Coco also has all those colors. But anyway, just to keep the pressure off her neck, my husband told me something about something about his sister has a dog and something her dog was starting to have problems with his throat or somewhere where the collar was like I guess pulling on him so we switched over to no more collars to have this she do have a collar just because of her ID badge and stuff that's on it but we mostly use these especially for walks and stuff like that because you know you just hook it right there and then you velcro around her belly and like around her chest area and not her neck you know what I mean so that's something to keep in mind for a little dog she has been loving these little bones she likes to chew on things but she's really picky about dog bones and toys she mostly likes the kind that has this like crackle hide and stuff on it um so this i got this from a store called gates it's by perina um and it's just called chewies long lasting three layers chewies and they do last a long time also because it's so hot this video is really long because it's so hot i uh sometimes i don't dress her at all but i have been putting these little bibs that you can buy from the dollar tree on her with a coordinating bow and i think i've shown those before they just velcro vel velcro so she has like a little collar on her a little something on her neck like a little scarf and then um with a coordinating bow and that's just a cute way for her to look cute but not be hot and of course, when she's wearing these, I don't, you know, that's all she wears with me, with a matching bow. So I am gonna do, a, I can do another video with some bows. I ordered some bows from Amazon. I hope they'll be here. Some more matching bows. Her hair has grown out so that she now wears two ponytails. And so I needed to get some little matching bows that fit perfectly on her head for every day. And that's actually the best hairstyle just to keep the hair out of her face and her hair's not like pulled up tight. It's just pulled back loosely. I always make sure it's loosely. I can like get a comb in the, between the rubber band and her hair. I wish she was here. She literally went and sat on the steps right here. Coco just, she does her own thing. Um, oh. I want to show y'all. I don't know if I ever showed y'all this onesie um, that she has. Look how cute this is. Of course, this is for winter time because it's um, thermal, thermal. But I just think, I mean, how completely cute. I did see some um, long, um, a jean jumper. I want to get here for it, the fall. But anyway, that's my little update on Coco. I'm still loving her. I think she's simply adorable, simply precious. Um, the best part of my day, my little companion. Um, but yeah, if you have any questions or comments, anything, tricks or tips you think I could use for my little puppy, please let me know. Send me pictures of your dogs. Um, you can get me on Instagram at Miss Cat's Life. Please comment and subscribe. I have more videos coming for you guys. Thank you again for 1,000 subscribers. So please go back and watch some of my old videos. Go back and check out the video of when I first got Coco and see how small and how round and how chocolate she was compared to her now. But we still love her so much. She's so beautiful. She is a full blood chocolate Yorkie. We have the paper and stuff on her. She's just a big girl. Um, but it is what it is. We, we simply adore her. So please check out my other videos. Please to remember to comment and subscribe and watch my other videos. I have more videos coming. Thank you guys. Be blessed.